Andreas, are there any risks of the ERCP? That's a very good question, and that's actually a conversation that we must have very, very clearly with the patients. If you saw them in the office at that moment or before the procedure when we're getting what is called the informed consent, basically explaining the patient risk, benefit of the procedure, and alternative procedures to solve the problem that we're trying to solve with the RCP. ERCP, it's a technical procedure. ERCP, it's a difficult procedure. And what patients need to understand is that even though you may be the best endoscopist in the world, there's always anatomical factors, meaning that the patient's anatomy may be a little bit different. It may be that the patient had some prior surgery. It may be that the patient has a very difficult major papilla, which is the site that we're trying to look at. And all of these may increase the possible complications of the procedure. It's also important to understand why we're doing the procedure. We know based on multiple publications that the main complications from ERCP are pancreatitis, which is what we fear the most, bleeding, perforation, infection that are very rare. I always mention death because it happens, it's reported, even though it's very, very low. The one that we fear the most is pancreatitis, and this is the one that we can see even if we did a procedure that went very, very well, a procedure that was uneventful, a procedure that we're able to achieve and do with very little time and with minimal problems throughout the procedure or zero problems. There's ways that we can try to decrease the risk of the complications, particularly pancreatitis. We tend to hydrate these patients well with an IV, even before they get into the procedure room, your doctors very likely are gonna be telling you that they are gonna leave a small stent in the main pancreatic duct. Your doctor also should tell you that they may be putting a medication that is called indomethacin through the rectum after the procedure is performed also to prevent the complication of pancreatitis. But something that I like to make very clear when I'm talking to my patients about these procedures is that even if everything goes well, there's always a low risk of having a complication. And I don't try to increase the level of anxiety that they already have by going into a procedure that it's a little bit invasive and that carries complication, but I like to make sure that the patients and the family members understand that there's always a risk involved in anything that we do when it's medicine related. All right. So I think the pancreas is a very sensitive organ. And whenever we get near the pancreas, there is an inherent risk of causing some inflammation or pancreatitis. So we can try and mitigate those risks by those techniques that you describe. There's also potentially a way that we can stratify the risk as well, depending upon the patient. A young woman, let's say, that may have, uh, maybe coming in for an ERCP, may be at a little bit higher risk than, than a middle-aged man. So I think that's something that we can talk to the patients as well about. So we, we can help stratify that so that the patients understand what that is. And that it's an open conversation with the patient. 